You made some news last night. Uh, you said you'd nominate a black woman to, vi uh, to fill Senator Dianne Feinstein's seat if she were to re retire from the Senate ahead of schedule, ahead of the end of her term. Uh, you now say Feinstein should stay in the Senate. Today, Feinstein said she has no plans to leave. So given yeah. that, why did you tell MSNBC that you had multiple names in mind to, to fill the seat, given the fact that she doesn't plan on, on well, leaving that seat? Uh, Jake, I did something that in politics everyone wants you to do, but you're not supposed to do, and that's I directly answered a question. <laughs> it was a yes-no question at the end of a segment, and the question was, if she resigned, would you commit? And I said, if, yes, uh, I would, and so that led to this. Now, if I was given a little bit more time, and maybe I'll take advantage of it here, I would make this point. I, if anyone knows California politics, they know the relationship uh, that I have with Senator Feinstein going back to when I was a young child growing up in San Francisco. Uh, she was an extraordinary mayor, extraordinary California San, uh, San Francisco supervisor, and she's been a mentor of mine, not just a friend. And I say that, and you know when politicians talk about friends, you roll your eyes. She's a friend. I have enormous respect for her. She's not going anywhere. I talk to her all the time. Uh, but in the context of that uh, question about a hypothetical, uh, yeah, I answered it, and I stick by my answer, but I have all the confidence in the world. I'll never have to make that decision. Two years later. Fox News alert and sad news. Uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein of California has passed away. The U.S. Senator was 90 years old. She was elected as the first female to ever serve as a senator in the state of California back in 1992, nearly 30 years ago. All right, guys, so we have some sad news to react to, some news that sparks a whole lot of questions and conversations, similar to the questions and conversations we've been having before about forcing these politicians to step down, okay? Because the politicians in office are too damn old, and it's gotten to the point now where they have to die in office in order to actually force them to step down, even though they clearly don't have the capacity to continue to serve. And that brings me to this situation involving Democrat Senator from California, Diane Feinstein, who has died at the age of 90. Now, last time we checked in on her, uh, we had people voting on her behalf because it seemed like she was not capable of understanding what was going on in the Senate while they were trying to vote or whatever type of procedure they were doing. Senator Feinstein. Um, you say aye. Pardon me? Aye. Yeah. Uh, to say. I, I would like to support a yes vote on this. Um, it provides $823 billion. That's an increase of $26 billion for the Department of Defense. And it funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say aye. Okay, just aye. aye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so there you have it. Her being told how to vote, okay, because she had no idea what was going on. Okay, truly a sad thing to see. We don't want to see it in Congress among our politicians. But, again, this is more common than... It should be in this country. It really doesn't make any sense. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this news here of her passing away. We'll discuss it a little bit. And then we're going to get to the bigger picture here, which is who's going to replace her. What is Gavin Newsom going to do in response to this? Chad, we know she wasn't doing well. What happened? Yeah, we don't know exactly the circumstances here. She had been in ill health for quite some time, uh, but we got some uh, rumblings about this overnight. Senator Feinstein voted yesterday morning in the Senate, but did not attend a Democratic caucus meeting later in the day, and she also did not vote in an afternoon vote series. She was 90 years old. Uh, let me run through some of the history here with Senator Feinstein. You know, she got into politics. She was serving on the San Francisco City Council and became mayor when there was the assassination at the, uh, the City Hall in San Francisco back in the mid-1970s that killed Harvey Milk, the first openly uh, elected gay official in the United States, and also George Moscone, who was mayor. In fact, she found the body of Mayor Moscone, and then she became mayor and uh, you know, tinkered with running for governor, was the mayor for many years, and was elected to the United States Senate in 1992 as the year, in the year of the woman. This is where there was a wave of female lawmakers who were sent to Washington, D.C., 
including in the Senate. She had led the Judiciary Committee. Uh, there had been some calls uh, for her to step down because of ill and infirm health. Uh, she missed uh, several months earlier this year uh, due to a bout with shingles, and she was hospitalized for quite some time. She came back. She was here and there over the past few months voting off and on, but Senator Feinstein unfortunately has passed away at the age of 90. Now, what does this do as we try to avert a government shutdown here? They have the votes in the Senate to pass an interim spending bill to keep uh, the government open. There are more than three quarters of uh, senators who can vote there. So that's not going to be an issue in terms of breaking a filibuster or keeping the government open. But uh, the governor of San Francisco, uh, Gavin Newsom, has indicated uh, that he would appoint a, a black woman uh, to the Senate. Now, this has raised some political hackles back in California because you have Barbara Lee, the Democratic representative from California, who's indicated that she thought that she should maybe be appointed to this. You have Adam Schiff, uh, the congressman, the former chair of the Intelligence Committee, who is running Katie Porter, the Democratic congresswoman from California. So it will be interesting to see who they appoint to the Senate and just how fast they do it. But as to the mechanics of dealing with a government shutdown, that's probably not going to affect that regardless of the timing. They're not going to necessarily need her vote because something is not on the edge based on that, that Senate vote there. But tragic news this morning, Senator Dianne Feinstein passing away at the age of 90 after, you know, more than 40, almost 50 years yeah. in public service. Yeah. So 30 of which was in Congress, okay, which is way too damn long. Okay. She should have been out at age, what, 65, 70? 80 okay at at the uh at the latest okay she should have been out and again this is you know look here's the thing maybe i'm sounding harsh right but i don't want to see this right this is not something that i want to see this is not something that the american people should be forced to see which is our politicians die in office because they refuse to step down they refuse to retire they refuse to recognize that hey they're too old right and again, it, to me, but something tells me that we're going to continue to see this because look who we got it all. We got Mitch McConnell, who clearly is having some cognitive issues, right? He's falling all over the place. Uh, Joe Biden in his 80s, falling all over the place. Chuck uh, Grassley, 90 years old. Nancy Pelosi, 83 years old, talking about she running for reelection. Again, this is something that is possible to wake up to any day and we can have a slew of politicians who are just, you know, falling dead because of old age. And, and and it seems to me that this country doesn't think that's a problem. Nobody think that, oh, well, that, that's a problem. That's something that we shouldn't have, right? I mean, again, you know, it, it's sad when a politician dies in office, but it seems like we can prevent politicians from dying in office from old age, right? Because, um, you know, I mean, these people, they, they're getting up so high that, again, they're dying from natural causes, right? And that probably is what happened to Diane Feinstein. I mean, she was 90 years old, okay? So once you get up in your 80s, again, it's any day, any day, you know? And um, it, it really is a shame that this is what has to happen to force some of these politicians out. Now, with that being said, we got to talk about her potential replacement, who is going to be uh, appointed to the Senate by Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, who said in the past that he plans to appoint a black woman. Now, again, this is another reason why the country should be ashamed of itself, okay? We should have term limits. Don Feinstein should have been termed out. But now we have to deal with Gavin Newsom being woke, taking a page out of Joe Biden's playbook and trying to uh, essentially... Um, bow to the woke altar right of black women by claiming that oh well he's gonna appoint a black woman to uh the senate right and uh he's gonna have to follow through on that promise that he made now that he's on the hot seat so what we have here is people being appointed to the most powerful positions in office not based off their resume not based off what they've done not based off their capabilities not based off anything having to do with merit but based off wokeness okay how dark is this person's skin and do they have a vagina right that is what we're doing in this country that's how we're picking our supreme court justices that's how we're picking our vice presidential uh candidates now this is how we're picking our senators Again, this is a shame, bro. This this country really has fallen off of a cliff, okay? It is a damn shame, okay? And again, th this is not the way I want to talk about a senator, 
okay, and the circumstances surrounding their death, right? Now I got to have this conversation, not only about why in the world did she die in office, considering how she was so old, why was she in office in the first place, okay, considering how it was very clear that she was incapable of doing her job, that she should have stepped down. Not only do we got to talk about that, but now we got to talk about the fact that, again, she's going to be replaced by an affirmative action hire, right? And affirmative action hires have ruined this country. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Affirmative action has been nothing but a strain on this country. And you continue to see it. And again, we know for a fact that whoever uh, Gavin Newsom picks because of that is, is going to be a disaster. She's not going to be qualified, right? Whoever he picks, you have to to have some questions about whether or not she was the best pick because he already told you that he's picking based off skin color, okay, and genitalia. It's crazy, man. It really is crazy we live in this type of country. But hey, uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.